Quake Con Face It uh, Trimasters Discipline Tournament over here. We are into the next section of the Grand Finals where we're going to watch some CTF. Yep, Meltdown uh, took the TDM 2-0, mm -hmm. which means they get one point. Yep. And then we're going to have a best of three in CTF. And the winner of that will get a point. If it goes to Meltdown, it's over. It's 2-0. And of course, if it's tied up, we'll be going into Jules mm -hmm. uh, to decide the uh, the winners here. And uh, there's quite a lot of prize money for this little road to QuakeCon. Yeah. $5,000. Uh, total. I think the winner two takes and a half, half was taken yesterday, and then two yep. and a half, I presume, uh, is going to the winning team. Sure, why not? I think, or us? I don't know. <laughs> um, you know. We'll decide after the show. Maybe we're not even paying them out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't work here, um, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but I'm sure they'll get their money and uh, they'll be happy before yeah, they go into the QuakeCon. Yeah. Um, of course, yeah, Meltdown already slightly winners um, mm -hmm. because they're sponsored by a bar. So actually, they're sponsored by alcohol <laughs> um, because Meltdown is actually like a franchise of bars. Yeah. Um, uh, there's one in London. There's like one heard. in Paris. There's one in uh, Berlin and some more opening. And so basically, yeah, Meltdown so is a, a e sport bar. Do we have to go to Meltdown after watching them play? Don't know. Okay. Don't is know. Is that like part of the... Maybe. Make people I can, go to Meltdown? I'll ring up the owner and ask <laughs> if we get free drinks if, um, if Meltdown win to celebrate. And then we can all go have Champagne. I'm starting to think that Meltdown will win, though. Uh, <laughs> wow, Super. zoot. That's my pro hey, analysis. That's the most yeah. intelligent thing I'm going to say today. Ever. <laughs> and you said it on stream, you lucky thing, you. Um, yeah, no, Meltdown are the strongest in TF side. They are. Um, I also think they can take a 2-0. Wouldn't be surprised. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of what maps uh, are coming up, we've got Ironworks, right, first. That's and then first. we're moving into... Uh, I think we're going to Japanese Castle, second. Yep. And then the tiebreaker is going to be Pillbox. Okay. Uh, Meltdown picked uh, the first map Ironworks. Yep, and um, I'm going to have to look at it first to make sure I remember which one it was. Yep. I might you be you asked me if it was the one with the red armor earlier. Just yeah. through the teleporter. <laughs> I said, you know, there's an LG outside of the teleporter. Yes. That's the one. That's the one. Uh, okay, yeah. And just, it's just I, a regen. There's yeah. the power up in the middle. Yeah, and there's um, two medikits. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. Uh, it's this, a really small And it's really hard to get a railgun because it's underneath. It's actually on top, the top of the bridge above the regen. Oh. Uh, so the mid guys, basically, if you're in defence, you need that your someone to go and get it for you. For you. Much like okay. with the LG, you're hoping yeah. that your teammates. But are with, with less railgun presence, I can understand why they picked this because Toxic mm -hmm. um, will probably get a lot of power ups with just fighting through with LG. Yeah. Um, you know, and that and you can flag carry on this map pretty easy. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've actually seen Toxic do some pretty impressive flag runs. Really? I'm not joking. I wow. heard some rocket jumps in there. Yeah. Like toxic, what are you doing? I'm imagining Lincoln though to get up on it because there's so many like cool little routes you can take as an attacker, mm -hmm. and you can really sort of play mind games with uh, the defenders if you manage to clear them out and you're trying to make your way back into mid. So I'm expecting some good stuff from uh, Lincoln as well. But uh, to see as well what's going to happen with the averages, have you got any expectations there? I know that Sparty they they will can stay back. They're like the fact that they they're so close on their last CDM game because mm -hmm. it's it's more tactical. And they potentially can be very, very good at CTF. Um, the fact that they can stand up versus Meltdown on CTF in practice in, in many games, mm -hmm. not like, you know, uh, a huge amount, but they've played lots of games, so many of those yeah. games, um, they've been able to do pretty okay, suggests that, yeah, they can actually, like, you know, keep, like, I think Japanese castles will be their closest. I think this one will be one of their hardest because it's mm -hmm. a, a lot of aiming going on in the middle. Yeah. And it's, you know, you want... You want that kind of tactical win mm -hmm. over Meltdown. And that's kind of hard because they're really good at CTF. They've got really good CTF players. I think well. actually if they get to Pillbox, I think they can win that against uh, MD. I think that's definitely possible for averages. Yeah. But it's being able to take at least one of the maps. And we haven't had a single series today that's gone to a tiebreaker in any discipline whatsoever. There's no, we haven't even been able to consider seeing any yeah. duel. I mean, you know, just if you're not the best, you're a shitter. Basically, yeah, that's exactly. what kind of what Quake is. If you're winning, yeah. You're uh, you're winning. Do you think the MD are looking now favourites for the entirety of QuakeCon? Well, Do you I know mean, when I looked the at Americans? the, I was really pissed off, right? Because um, I I sponsored uh, averages a thousand dollars to go to QuakeCon, yeah. and then the Meltdown team got announced. So I contacted the owner, and I was like, "Fuck you! <laughs> You've taken this team, and they're really fucking good. And yeah. I think they're going to win QuakeCon." And when they were practicing the other day, I was doing bets with her on the practice matches, mm -hmm. and uh, I lost 200 euro um, <laughs> to Meltdown winning four games in a row yeah. uh, versus uh, averages. Oh, and so I was just pissed. So I'm going to go to QuakeCon myself now, make my own team, <laughs> and beat Meltdown. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal members from other teams, though, to make it happen. Yeah. I'm going to take a cypher 
Uh, Noctis and, and a team. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna ruin other teams. <laughs> anyway, well, here we go. We're going uh, ready on the first map of the CTF over here. This is Ironworks. We're checking out Noctis from Averages right now. Just trying to fight over the Railgun. So like Averages are gonna are gonna be able to win that first. So I think that was Demon just taking it back over to Sparty in the base. Yep, I think so. Yeah, he's middle as well. So he did drop it. Wow, they've let a few people through this lightning gun area. So they need to they're do actually, damage to these guys. This yeah, they're actually kind of concerned here. I think uh, Sparty actually helps with Demon to mock up uh, on the defense. But yeah, Sparty will be the main defender, Toxic will be the up one, Faz will be playing mid and just kind of helping out. And then we're looking at the power-ups, and the first one will be spawning soon. Faz will take that red, so he's going to be in prime position. Oh, Actually, oh, Quad is already, oh sorry, whatever it could be is respawned, and it's going to go to Toxic, yeah, which is pretty normal. And Toxic can uh -oh. do flag runs, baby. He can't do this jump very well, but he can actually do a flag run. So his whole team's just going to be trying to get him through mid here, right? A lot of his team won't be worried about being in the enemy base. They just want to, like, put a lot of damage down, get him in there, and here he goes. He gets hit from below, but he still made it in. It shoots Demon close by and hits Sparty, which is the main defender. So any damage he does to Sparty here is great because it actually gives Lincoln a chance to pick up the flag. And he's out low, and the whole team should have been in base. So this looks like it's going to be a cap. It goes for the teleporter, jumps so, so, into so. the water to kind of, you know, it was a bit of a sprint, put on a bit of sweat. That's going to help him out. And he gets the flag while simultaneously looking pretty cool. And yeah, Noctis will pick up the enemy flag, but... The chances of getting out here, very Oh, uh, no. I, I thought I'd have a chance, but then all the green side would have been started yeah. piling in. I, I think what happened there is Averages maybe got distracted by Tox, and like, we got to focus well, on this had, guy. They all had to defend, so anybody who picked up the flag was going to get out if you were going to yeah. drop. And it was Lincoln that made the move. He is a sneaky little fucker. Mm -hmm. He's French. That's kind <laughs> of like just what they do as people. <laughs> I don't know how to reply to that. Um, Cunts. <laughs> Demon here. Is he playing? Oh no, he's on the offense actually. I'm trying to tell what side of what base he's actually in at the moment, but he's got a good uh, yeah, he's timing on damage. the enemy red. Lincoln gets spotted. Right. Even though Tox was managing to get a huge stack going into the enemy base, if you're playing in the home red position, it's actually, if you're doing a good job, fairly normal for you to be able to get in 200 200. But since it's a small closed map and the spawns can be all around you, it's still. Even if you're 200, 200 with regen and with a med kit, you're not guaranteed yeah. to get out. But the thing is, you don't fight in this base, really. You know what I mean? Like, unless you can just clean them up real quick. You just want to get in and get out uh, the most of the, the time. Because it's it's a waste of time to fight, um, I find. Mm -hmm. um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But the game is kind of, uh, you know, it's kind of slowed down a little bit. Smarty. I'm um, going to take the yellow and mega. And you'll, you'll notice a lot of the times they give the red away to, like, the, the other defender, which is fast. Then comes uh, a regen. You're actually going to go to demon. Going to bring it back. Looking maybe to go into the red armor room. I think I saw fighting in there, so I'm not sure. It's gonna get that a red kill was on just Lincoln. Taken, so he can probably attack with just this as well. Like I, I would be. Oh, oh no! Dear. Oh no! He died, and <laughs> Wins is like, please take the regen. They just give himself an extra couple of ticks yeah. of health, and then uh, Lincoln taking away from him. Not just getting a flag touch. Yeah, but, but it's more about the. Yeah, it's it's MD to make something happen here. Meltdown. So, I'm not sure if uh, Lincoln got picked up, but probably did do so. Toxic's defending base against Demon right now to accept kills. Spartan gets a kill on to win. Averages looking to put an attack over by the red armor. One goes through the teleporter. This is nice. Lincoln, he's actually in the enemy base, being cheeky. Got the flag, got the mega. Takes the yellow. Is he gonna double back? He's just gonna go. He he's might even try and rocket jump up here, and he does, oh. and he tricks. Oh no, he's gonna get gun down and that will be a return nicely done by averages lincoln trying to be sneaky but a little bit too sneaky he managed to fool a couple of people but not but not, not us suit <laughs> we knew he was going to rocket jump oh, lincoln there trying to make uh, another attack in here faz trying to keep this flag safe but there's two of them wins is extremely low faz gets the frag but there's still lincoln lurking around the corner and he's actually got he, he knows, health. Yeah, this is really sad because he had actually oh. had mega timed <laughs> But he couldn't get up to Mega because he had such little health to be able to, even if he could rock a jump. Still getting rid of the yellows, not, not yeah, bad for him. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. It's but so chaotic. Like, Sparty's not able to really feel safe that. at all. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it would be nice actually just to check out Sparty before the power up comes if we can get to him. I know it might be a nightmare if we're going to change, but don't worry about it if we can't find him. But it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, he's got the Mega but no armor, so you're right. That, that uh, like, yellow did hurt. He's holding the middle ground though, gets hit by a railgun shot, and he's just here now to do damage. I think he wants his teammates to take the power up. Um, misses a shot, it's uh, Toxic that gets it, and Toxic will just take it and often walk back Ow. if he needs a, another power up. Um, and then he's going to go on attack. You have enough time. This regen just gets more powerful over time because you're going to move into the enemy base. 
with a good amount of health and armor. And his whole team, again, is just going to clean out mid. This is the strategy. You take mid, and then all of a sudden, when your regen guy is ready to go in, you all go in. Sure, you're going to be fighting a lot of people, but he's got rockets. So if he's able to kind of drop down, pick up the flag, and get out, he should be able to. He gets one kill, almost thinks gets the other. It's, it's Lincoln who gets it. He, oh, maybe he could have actually... That was really unfortunate spawn. If he had more health, he would have been able to get out. But let's see if they can cross. They've secured high. They're plasming him from behind. Help him over. And it looks like a second flag cap just after five minutes was going in favor of Meltdown. Really exactly nice. exactly the same strat yeah. as before. It's the same strat, dude. I mean, you know, that we call it the... What do you call the it? The re-goose. <laughs> it's you goose middle and you get the uh, you get the regen and then you go back and then you re-goose. And uh, it, a very famous track came from uh, Dota 2 actually, but I invented <laughs> it back in um, StarCraft Brood War. And it's really transitioned well here in Quake Live. It's, it's a big strat. Um, but yeah, it's the same strat, it's working and you know, averages, if they want to do something about that, they need to actually, rather than sit in base, I think they need to contest middle, even when regen hasn't crossed. Like, you know, fight middle first. Take the lightning gun to middle, you know, get the rail guns middle going so that regen can't cross in an easy way. Because even if regen does cross, if he wants to get into base and he can't go at, at top, he has to go bottom. And when he's bottom, it's very easy to catch him, you know, coming out of the water, through the teleporter, or even, you know, around the yellow armor area. So. You know, get some more map presence in the middle if that happens again. Don't let the Regoose <laughs> goose you. I like the fact that Sparty was actually being able to get a stack at that point. So maybe that can be like the route to something. And they are then be able yeah. to build some presence into mid and Sparty can start getting yeah. the rails in like he is doing yeah. now. I mean, this is where they need Sparty. And it's just Toxic gets it low. LG, he's going to probably back off now and can drop it for someone else if he stays alive. But Sparty wants the end of him to be here. Demon finds him as well, but... Demon got a taste for Plasma right now. A nice railgun shot, but still, gets away. And all that distraction. Wow, they keep focusing on the region guy oh, way too Toxic's much. Toxic's going to help middle as well. They should be able to push him across. No way. Zyrex yep, is going to get it. 4 HP. Easy. He's got to take the long way around, though. Uh, he's going to hop, and there's no one There's no one ever yep. able to get into their base fast enough. But as soon as, wind's cooled, yeah, as soon as Wind's cooled, he got the flag. He must have said, I'm leaving low. And so everyone stayed. Mm -hmm. Toxic didn't want to go back. You know, they all stayed. They all did the damage, and that's how you get across. And that's about as far away from the podium that the averages are. I managed to get their flag. Yeah, yeah, pretty far, though. You know, in Relatively speaking. I mean, <laughs> not, not really, long, yeah. But this is the map of uh, Meltdown, so That's what true. are you going to do? We're expecting a bit more of a dominant performance here. Going over to Japanese castles, expecting Averages to do something. But uh, they've, never, they've, never been, they've never been able to get any kind of confidence on this map whatsoever. And this, uh, it's that focus, again, looking at the guy of the region, expecting him to be the root of all evil, when it's actually just Lincoln or Wins who comes on the side, and they're actually the real danger. Yeah. All plays a big part in these flag caps. So let's see. We're gonna have the regen spawning in 25. Faz is in a good place to actually take some LG fights here. You know, uses the railgun. He's kind of probably a bit pissed off at that because holy shit, that lightning gun damage from Lincoln mm -hmm. stripped him of all his health and armor, bed, barn, uh, eight of the health. And now we're gonna see probably Toxic pick up the regen and uh, and start the reduce, but. We'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Toxic it's actually not looking low. that healthy. So this could actually be Averages to make something happen. It's not as you get it, but why? He just goes straight into the enemy and just gets taken down. And wow, well, yeah. I mean... They pushed forward if, with it. Yeah, they but the, like, it back, though. Yeah. I mean, if you push forward and got the kill, you got red armor. Mm -hmm. And then you're good, right? Because you can sit there and cause a distraction even if you're not healthy enough on health to go into the enemy base. But people would have to consider that you're there. So... I think Noctis didn't even know uh, Toxic was there, and I think it probably was the right decision. Um, but unfortunately, just ended up being, okay, you know, Toxic. So, yeah. what are you going to do? And he ended up doing most of the damage to all three of the players that were trying to support Noctis with that, so, gutted. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate. Lots of damage here on the spawners of the averages, and it looks like they're going to be able to take the red armor as well. Lincoln's on it. Did you pick it up? Someone in there already? It's still not been... Taken. I don't know. I don't know if he's if he's already left the platform, but yeah, that red armor's been stood there for a long time. Someone has managed to snatching it in the end. Yep. Lincoln again dealing massive damage. Can to we the see Lincoln's team. accuracies? Because this guy's just hitting. And his LG was insane. 62 60%. LG and 60 Rogan. 
I mean, I think like Toxic, when we go to him, we'll check out his accuracy as well. I think his LG will be a little bit, um, maybe a little bit higher, but it's, um, yeah, when Lincoln, I, it's, it's been a long time since I've seen Lincoln. Okay, 92% Railgun, 41% <laughs> That's just a joke, on really. the, uh, oh my god, that's disgusting. That's a lot of Railgun shots fired to get that 92% what? as well. So, all right, and uh, yeah, Regen's going to be up soon. So these guys are on form. 57 for 11, Tox is playing in a home red position. Yeah. That's immense. And I think Syring's on defense with 25 for 5. He's playing extremely well in defense. Lincoln trying to get a flag touch. Yeah, but that, no that brings Sparty back into base, though, as well. Like, Sparty's not middle now. So Toxic will probably have to... Like, Sparty will have to go through. And Sparty's just railing top. I and mean, that's the difference. Like, uh, Toxic actually kind of comes out and then goes out bottom, where a lot of his guns are much more effective. So the regen's going to get picked up. Uh, might get dropped for somebody in this situation with C. He might just, just take it home and chill with this and be like, yep, 3-0. No, he's going to do something right, He has to give it away now. He's 200 health. And he gives it to Tox. And Tox has also got a good stack. He's probably going to want to get the lightning gun Toxic here before he pushes out and he gets the med kit and has that timed. And yeah, I mean... Demon's fan of the clear base, actually. I'm quite impressed that Demon got the flag, yeah. And Lincoln might not get out of base here. I'm pretty sure Demon should drop. Yeah, he dies. And Noctis... Well, no, he can't get the kill, actually. Lincoln's uh, plasma, not so bad, but 14 health. Is there any support whatsoever for Lincoln? I'll be very... <laughs> oh, wow. He can jump. He can make this. Just going. He gets LG from behind. Yeah. Very nice. This is this is like Lincoln classic attack. You know, it takes a lot of time, but he does get the job done. He's, he's definitely not a uh, a rush out player. Like brilliant communication, making sure they uh, knew when the timing was right. And you know, when you're slow with tapping the flag, you actually cause a lot of confusion in the enemy because they're like, someone's like, he was here. And it's like, well, yeah, that he's he not here now. Where is he? And everyone's like, you know, and by the time you you have someone on comms say he's here, it's too late. So you know, if, you're not, if, you, if you don't already see him and you're not already shooting him, in, he's gone, right? So really nicely done. And yeah, Toxic's a beast right now, 100, 200. Going to get himself his medikit as well. well. The fact that so uh, he's so healthy. they're losing control of their own medikit, I mean, that's something that you shouldn't really lose control of in yeah. your own base. But I, I just don't agree with Spardy railing top a lot. I think he should be doing what Toxic does and put some... like Because a lot of people are going to attack that direction anyway. Like, a lot of people are just going to attack through the top. So it's very natural that you're going to have resistance there from your team. So you can kind of take a defender to a position where you know, his weapons might work a little bit more. And I think that's the lightning gun area. Because it stops people from stealing your red. Mm. It sets you up for a lot of cheeky railgun shots. It's very easy to back off. No one naturally is looking at you because you're kind of looking down the bridge normally. Um, so Toxic is always fighting from this position, you know. That's and it's it's it just works out so much better. So there's a different there's a difference between the priority where Toxic and Spali are putting their efforts on putting pressure over the regen, and it's always working out in favor of Meltdown Toxic uh, so far. So that's why the 4-0. and Lincoln. You know he's getting into this red armor a lot more. The enemy red. And he's I think if Sparty, so was, if Sparty was like letting other people take the yellow a little bit um, and yeah, focusing a little bit more on that LG area, maybe that would work out nicer. But maybe it's also Faz could do it. Who knows? I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm you really tell me. I'm really curious if Tox has still got 90% rail, actually. But uh, let's wait, because Faz's got a little bit of a stack at the moment. He needs to start uh, building towards something now. But Lincoln, well, get it, Faz. We're going to be watching him as he's just, this has got to be like the 10th time he's touched the flag. He gets the flag Demon's up top, return, but yeah. Demon's taking it back. But still, that could have been gone. Mm -hmm. you know, if he got out with a little bit of health, could have jumped down, changed direction, and then got through the teleporter, and then he's home free. So almost the cap, and every moment is scary when uh, Meltdown get your flag, it seems. So Noctis waiting on the red for the enemy team. We'll pick it up. We'll take Meltdown. This That's could be a big chance. Okay. Going to get the flag. Looking to leave top, and he's just going to go straight out. He's got a lightning gun, so he's going to have to force his way through. He's got oh, gets a fadeaway rail to the face, and actually drops as Winds picks up the enemy flag. And Did he drop it? Yeah, knocked his foul, right? Yeah. Now Winds on his own. He wants a bit of support. He's this is what I mean. Going low. That's okay, fine. nothing happening. But we're going to have a fight over the um, the regen again, and Sparty's still putting pressure on top. And I'm pretty sure Spally's the main defender, so... Yeah. Faz has got a little bit of armor, so he should be coming into uh, mid very, very soon. Zyrinx, though. 
if he can't get the regen, then he's going to yeah. get them low. But that's Faz just exploding there. Yeah, Fa Faz has so dropped, fast. and also I think um, the other defender dropped. So th there's no real armor on the uh, defense. And yeah, we go for the looking for the Rikus here as they take the regen back, hand it over to Toxic, and soon we see the Goose. I think he can get the red as well if he wants. Yeah, he stack it. And his whole team will just probably hold him for a little bit. Yeah, Regen dying off right now isn't such a big deal. He might put some aggression on. Spot is getting any yeah, kind it's of probably not worth it anymore. It. He might attack, but real, huh? yeah. Okay, here we go. He's like YOLO. And he can, he's got rockets, so he can just get on the flag, and if he wanted to, he could just probably rocket jump out, but nope, not, not going to be able to do with two people fighting him. He uses the medikit, nicely attack. done. Oh. Noctis will take him out, and looks like the flag will be returned. No, won't be returned, Wins gets it. Run, Wins. Run, Has other guy. Got Has he got a teammate nearby? Did oh. you kill him? Noctis no. is going to return it. Toxic LGs him into the flag. We've got a flag touch from somewhere there. Averages has lost, lost, lost their flag again. Oh, demon has. Oh, MD have lost it, it's fine. Unlucky there. Demon hit that shot, I think it might have been a kill. I'm not sure if Toxic got the LG. But yeah, 4-0, four, 4 minutes left on the clock. It looks like this one is going in favor of Meltdown. We'll see if uh, they can get any uh, additional flag caps. But yeah, go on, you were saying? It has Averages actually managed to get the, enemy, the MD's flag across mid at all yet? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I mean, barely even seeing the edge of their base of the flag. It's been it's been such it's a lockdown. Really. I don't think they're getting through mid healthy enough. Mm -hmm. Like just the amount of rails and LG that's coming out from the um, the aimers from meltdown. I'm not just losing everything he's just collected uh, already, essentially. Yeah, and it really sucks when you do that and you get a kill on an attacker. Like if you're gonna do damage in the enemy base, you really want to do it to the defender. And finally, we're going to see the Regus tactic from Averages. It works for any team, any race, doesn't matter where you're from. It's, unless you're Swedish, it sometimes doesn't work then. You just take a lot of damage. But you see what the um, enemy team are doing, right? They're just camping mid, so yeah. regen can't cross. And when Averages did this, Averages just sat in um, base almost. Yeah, like, so it's like we'll wait for cross. them to come yeah. in first before yeah. stopping them coming so, in in the first place. Boom. Oh, well, there was no Regus there. Yeah, Fast wasn't even able to get anything started at that point. It looked like it with 200, 100, but not even close in the end. Oh, he's got it already. I don't think he remembered. Showing the best of Faz here on stream. <laughs> Toxic decides, fuck it, I'm bored. I'll just take the enemy flag because they're not doing anything with their regen. Um, and someone's got to go for it. And he's pretty low, but he's got the pressure. Help. Noctis looking to get the kill. And he will get the uh, oh. flag pickup, but Noctis takes down two. He's like, 5-0? <laughs> I don't think so. We're not that bad. <laughs> um, as he throws out some smack talk to Meltdown, which is slightly hard to do when you're 4-0 down on yeah. the first map. But it is their map. I'm sure Japanese castles will change a little bit of pace. I mean, they should do a little better there. Because at least then there's a power-up in each base, so maybe they'll be allowed their own power-up once in a while. Hmm. That 25 health bubble. Well, actually, it didn't even matter at that oh, point. Oh, he's mid. Oh, Toxic couldn't, couldn't do it. Minute and a half left. It's just garbage time for averages at the moment. Yeah, we can check some garbage accuracies mitigation. of players, maybe just like see how people did. 40, 45. We can switch through. Baz, yeah, a little bit lower. High on the railgun. Demon. Everyone's kind of like hitting nicely. But. Uh, probably more of this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there we go. It's just, yeah. it's just slightly more, isn't it, on the meltdown side of things. Even this guy, yeah, I didn't even know how to say his name. <laughs> He's holding out such his Oryx. Wins. Really nice accuracy there. Just the same as Linker. And then Toxic. <laughs> is a little bit better on the Railgun than uh, everyone else. Uh, yeah, he's nice. the next level. And he uses a lot more Lightning Gun as well, so... And then, yeah, we can see 75 kills. Wow. What a dick. <laughs> and even look at look at Shrinks, and he died sixteen times. He was he the other defender? Yeah, he must have been. Like Demon the, is thirty nine for eighty six. Compared to oh, Sparty. Uh, Lincoln, fifty one for sixty five yeah. in the similar position. I mean Faz has done pretty damn well in terms of like fragging. He always frags a lot, Faz, but mm -hmm. it's all about like where are you fragging and why. But let's let's watch the end of the game.
Thank you very much. We've got 15 seconds. We probably could have checked the score screen at the end, but we just, we're just so excited to the statistics here. at face it, that we needed to see it. I'm right. And Lincoln gonna die. Well, that's the GG there. Demon doesn't seem too happy about having to give the GG, but oh. the pr a pretty, uh, pretty. I wouldn't say it's unfair to say <laughs> a poor time. game from them, but it's yeah. Look at that. MVP on everything. I, I think they would have expected more from themselves. Because they gave up some pretty easy caps, I think, when, uh, you know, Tox is with the uh, regen, and then they're just like, oh, well, Lincoln's just seeped through some massive holes. Minus 49 net. That's quite impressive for Demon. Did a lot of damage. <laughs> we took, like, 11. It was like, um, yeah, so um, one of the things that I think that people need to evaluate a lot in 4v4 CTF is, like, stuff like attack routes mm -hmm. and defending kind of um, uh, positions. And I think with, like, this and, and C9, it's very similar to how you handle the mid. Mm -hmm. uh, and the power-ups, uh, C9 being um, spider crossing. So Toxic defends low on C9. He also defends low here, mm -hmm. right? Because it's very natural for your team to attack high. You've got the rail gun there. Um, you know, if you, even if you get into the room with a lightning gun, you know, you're naturally doing damage. But it's, you know, all guns work middle, right? Mm -hmm. Like very well, apart from the rocket launcher, uh, maybe. But it's just like, he's very safe and he and he defends a lot low and then goes back into base and he plays that position so well and then you have to consider if he's doing that you know are you are you attacking in the right way because if you want to attack a lot low you have to go through him mm -hmm. but to do so you should use Velgan. Well like i would very happily be the player if i was playing faz i would just be like right i'm just gonna fucking hit toxic a lot i would look down to the lg when I cross mid a lot, mm -hmm. and I just look for railgun shots, right? If I, you know, had the ability, and if I didn't, sure, I I trade LG, but I do it enough that it would hurt the player that I need to hurt. I'm sure the other guys coming into my base might be like, you know, you painful. It's just a matter of execution. Then, do you think they were thinking it's, that, but they're just not able to land the shots? No, or it's, 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 just, I, I, I think I think if they change their um, like focus, they can really change the way the game plays out. It's mm -hmm. kind of like it's just it's the same principle of like on C9. If you allow your defender to come mid. Mm -hmm or don't allow him to come mid, how does that change how mid, mid the, the mid dynamic changes, right? And also, you have to think of, like, how much of the map are you winning for what percent of the time? Mm -hmm. Like, it'd be really interesting to look at statistics in terms of, like, if someone drew a Quake CTF map and said, we have this, like, football, we have this area yeah. for this amount of time, and you have it for this amount of time, right? Because even if your defender is not on your core items at the back, and he's helping you mid, you're winning more armor. Mm. And when the CTF is now 4v4 instead of 5v5, armor is even more important, right? Because it used to be a lot of like um, flag runs through power-ups because yeah. you have to have a power-up to get a flag cap in 5v5. Mm -hmm. um, but in 4v4, you want to win more items just like in TDM. To do that, you need to use your items effectively. And Tox yeah. is using his armors and weapons and dealing so much damage he's the highest damage dealer he's using everything so effectively that even though he's not a ctf player what he's either been told to do or figured out to do is helping his team so much yeah so you've got a defender position helping everyone else in a big way right and that allows your attackers to basically do what they want land the damage on the people they want get the flag opportunities and actually get the win and i'm not saying he's like mvp because he played the best ctf i actually think i still think like the attackers are the way harder position to play but it's that decision of what your defender is going to do that mm -hmm. uh, shifts the dynamic from the map onwards you know like so it's it's so much a control game um in terms of map presence and i think people i i've been talking to i've been watching faz's games and i've been kind of saying stuff like you know why don't you do this yeah. and i once told him that I, I told him some bad advice i was like why don't you share red armor on c9 <laughs> and then i realized it was uh, uh not a 25 second thing yeah because i put it was 25 seconds so i was like why don't you just rotate it because if you get red armor and lg you win mid and then you could win their red. Oh, so the you win more delay, armors. Delay, but it's a one minute delay, delay, right? Yeah, exactly. And so I played CTF pickup and I played base defense. And I was like, I was like, oh, it's okay. My team's taking my red. I don't mind, but I'm still defending base, right? Because <laughs> I was just hitting like railgun shots and stuff. And I was, I was like, I was doing the same as Toxic. Yeah. I always come forward and rail low and stuff. But um, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to go. Yeah, um, yeah. Sorry, I'm going to yell that too. I'm, I'm going to jump pause. off. Yeah. Uh, and then DDK is going to come in and cast the rest of the matches. Thank you very much for putting up with Thank my you. rants. Um, I'm off to the pub. <laughs> Have a pleasant weekend. Thank you for giving, I think, the Quake community a bit of a nostalgia. Back of the old uh, Quake days casting, it's been sure. good. It's been good for me to. I would say I was casting with you, but I was more just like sitting here. I talk observing. a lot of shit. Yeah, sorry it's about fine. that. It's like a story to me. Yeah, it's brilliant. Sorry. 
Um, but anyway, thank you so much, yeah. guys. We'll be back in a and moment for the quick. what could be the last game. It could it absolutely could be, the last it game. Could be just one more map, and then we'll have the grandfather's over, and then we get to wait for QuakeCon. So, guys, see you in just a moment. <laughs>